This ape says we apes can control our destiny. The courts are out of our hands. We're still in limbo and coming up soon. What we can control is going to the theater, buying snacks, buying drinks, buying perfectly popcorn, and using all of AMC's products. We alone can push the AMC writing story to a new beginning, a new Black Ink chapter. It's up to us. This ape makes a good point and it really is. If we want to see AMC as a profitable company, we know exactly what we have to do. This ape says simple. Do you believe AMC is shorted to the point it's a risk for shorts if AMC proves to be profitable? If yes, buy and hold. If no, walk away. Arguing other things is a waste of time and energy. I believe the thesis and the data, so I'm long. So if AMC Entertainment does become more and more fundamentally sound and the company does actually start bringing in profits, at that point, it's going to be hard, in theory, for the short sellers to hang on to their same narrative. Even at this point, with how great AMC has been improving, in my opinion, and I could be wrong, it seems like a dangerous stock to short from here. But only time will tell. Comment down below what you think. Enforcing broker accountability. So all the brokers are showing horrendously wrong market caps lately. Can we all start sending them messages asking about it and share those screen captures of the chats? Squeaky wheels get the grease and I would love to hear their reasoning for the glitches and issues. If enough brokers are getting messages, it adds to our mantra that we are aware of their BS. After getting caught in a lie, questions become daunting. Let's ask them lots of questions about the glitches and screen cap and share. We need answers now. The glitches are starting to now come back out of the cracks. The glitches were bad a year ago, and they've sort of went away for a while, but they're back, and they're back in full force. This is pretty crazy. Finor recently fined five other brokerages. Finor recently fined five other brokerages for compliance failures related to the broker-dealer standard and conduct, regulation best interests, and related disclosure document from CRS. The agency found that some firms lacked policies and procedures to ensure that their registered representatives adhered to Reg BI, which prohibits them from putting their financial interests ahead of their customers' interests in achieving as high of a return as possible. Some firms miss deadlines for making available form CRS, which outlines a firm's services, fees, conflicts of interest, disciplinary history, and other information, or omit it required information from the form. Now, five of these brokerages were fined a total of only 185000 These fines were DMK Advisor Group. They were fined 35 k Harpeth Securities, thirty-five, dollars Highlander Capital, $5,000, Axo, $75,000, and American Wealth Management, $35,000. Comments down below if you think these fines are big enough or what you think should happen when firms break the rules.